continue my thought um, on this idea of uh, this Christian lie that names don't matter you can call them whatever you want um, and I think in my last video I showed you that you know part of that weird doctrine that that is being taught uh, in the Christian church primarily comes down from slavery and it is not a part of the Torah. It's not a part of the Holy Scriptures or the manuscript. It is something that is completely man-made and completely foreign uh, to the people and the children of Israel. Names do matter. If names didn't matter, then they would have left our names alone. They wouldn't have tried to change our name from uh, Ben Israel or Yehuda or Zebulon or Simeon or um, Yoshiyahu, or Yeremayu, or even they would have never attempted to change the name of Yehoshua, or cover the name of Yahuwah with the Lord. Um, they would have never done any of the powers that be the religious leadership, the Catholic Church, as well as all of her um, whorish daughters, the Protestants, have all uh, been in cahoots together in order to change names because names are powerful and names mean a lot. Okay, so this idea that, all right, you know, names don't matter, it's a lie. It's a lie. Um, names matter because, I don't even, there are just way too many reasons, but I just want to bring out one. And again, going back to the Malcolm X thing. Uh, one of the things that Malcolm was trying to tell people was as long as I refer to myself by this slave name, I'm going to always have a slave mentality. There's just, there's just no way out of it. He's like, because subconsciously, when I look in the mirror and I call myself by the slave name, I subconsciously just know that's not my name. And I know subconsciously, whether I even want to admit it or not, I know that my real name has been changed by a uh, by a European slave owner. And as a result of that, every time I see myself, I see myself as someone else's property. Because you name your property. You 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 it's in your name. And that was the whole point. And so I talked about that. I want to talk about this slave mindset that comes with a slave name. One of the reasons. One of the reasons why Israel, the children of Israel, were able to survive the captivities that they were in. And when I say survive them, I mean survive them as a nation to be able to come out as a nation of people is because they kept their original Hebrew names. Now, we know that, um, of course, when, when Yosef went into uh, Egypt, his name was changed. And uh, we know that, uh, but nobody forgot it was Yosef, um, child of Yisrael. Ben Yisrael. Nobody forgot that. Just like uh, when we read uh, um, Azariah, Hananiah, and Mashiel, when we when we hear about Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, we know the Bible, the scriptures give us their Hebrew name. And and so even though we call them by their pagan name, which is which is a trash a tragedy, uh, a travesty, but they were known by their Hebrew names. Everybody knew their Hebrew names. And then, of course, um, Daniel, his name was changed, but we know it was Daniel. Dan, judge, um, after the tribe of Dan. And El, Yah, Yah will judge. So they kept their Hebrew names intact, even if they were given pagan names. And so 
one of that's one of the ways that they were able to come out of situations because they always knew that even though I've been given a name it was a, it was the name of my captivity so the first thing that happened is when the captivity captivity was over they would then shed the name of the captor but with us one of the strange things is they've told us and you know most of us became Christianized and they told us in the Christian church, you know, name don't mean nothing. Then, then we try to tell people, hey man, you know, we found the real name of our Messiah. It's not Jesus, it's Yahushua. What difference does that make? It's just a name. It's just a name. It's, it's not just a name. Names have meanings. And you just don't go around arbitrarily changing names. You don't cover up names. Now, does the European do it? Of course he does, all the time. That's his thing. He, he does it with everything he touches. Africa wasn't called Africa. <laughs> it was named after a European, Africanus. Um, you know, America was not called America. It was named after a European whose last name was American or something. So they always do that. But Israel was unique because Israel would always stay true to their name. So what has happened? Because they have this mentality that names don't matter, going back to Malcolm X, or Malcolm was trying to tell them, this mindset is not gonna change if you keep calling yourself that. But it's so ingrained in us now that even when a brother tries to not call himself by a slave name, all the other ex-slaves <laughs> jump on them. Do you see how weird that is? In other words, the powers that be don't even have to do it no more. It's it's the other, I'm gonna use the term black folk, it's the other Negro, Negroid people. It's the other Hebrew Israelites that were enslaved that are telling the, the ones that are trying to come out of the mentality, don't do that. You keep the slave name. You keep the slave mentality. You stay just the way you are. And that, my brothers and my sisters, is a damnable shame. It's a shame. And uh, we shared those names. Now I know like for business purposes, someone's gonna have to use that name because that's the business name that we was put up under when we got in this country, as a citizen of this country. But we need to rediscover our name. Why? Because it will help us rediscover our nation. Once everybody sees themselves as Ben Israel, once everybody sees themselves as Ben Israel, in other words, what is your surname? My surname is Yisrael. Well, how are you just going to claim that? Oh, because our grandfather, his name was Jacob, Jacob, and his name was t changed by our Elohim. Our grandfather, his name was Jacob, and it was changed by our Elohim. Our Elohim, Yahuwah, personally changed his name from Yaakov to Yisrael. And um, therefore, all of his descendants, the 12 tribes, the 12 sons of him, of, of his, are now considered the tribes of Yisrael. And it were it was to these tribes, now now please pay attention to this, these tribes were set apart among all the other nations of the world. And of course, um, when we look at the historical documents, we know that all of these 12 tribes were all black people. Now you can get upset with that or not, but that's who they were. They were they were black people originated from the land from the Ur of the Chaldeans of the Chaldees and then of course moving into um, into Canaan and then 400 years in Egypt and then when we got when we got out of Egypt of course we 
uh, went through the wilderness and ended up in the promised land, then back and forth into captivities, and were still scattered all over. And one of the things that, as I said before, they took our, our Israel identity away from us so that we couldn't find our way back and thus change our name so that we would have a perpetual, um, what is the word? We'd have an, an attachment perpetually to a slave name. We'd have an affinity for it. We would like learn to love a name given by a dirty dog slave, someone who actually owned humans and beat them and raped them and castrated them and drugged them and did all manner of evil against them. And that name is what had been placed on you that you have grown to love. And then when someone mentions Hebrew or Israel, then you automatically have a weird response like, oh, who's that? When that's really you, and that's really a beautiful name. Hebrew meaning to cross over, Yisrael meaning a prince of the Most High, to, uh, to have stride with the Most High, um, and we're the children of the Most High. Okay, I'm gonna leave you with this. Also, so so you gotta shed the the name and 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 you gotta practice it because once the once you can get away from that and you start seeing yourself as Yisrael, you will eventually start coming out of that slave mindset. It just it just automatically happens. But another thing I want you to see is Yeshua. Also, listen to this. Yeshua is a Hebrew Israelite. It ain't no getting around that. He's a Hebrew and he's an Israelite from the fourth tribe. Remember, he had 12 sons. That fourth son's name was Judah or Yehuda in Hebrew. And Yehuda is the tribe that Yahushua comes from. Yahushua, Yahusha. He comes from that tribe. Yes, that Hebrew Israelite black tribe of what they call today African people. That is the truth. So somebody says, well, names don't matter. It does matter. Because the more you call him Yahuwah, that that Yahuwah sound doesn't take you to uh, merry old England. Um, you don't feel you don't feel British when you say Yahuwah, Yahuwah, or Yahushua. And so the more you say the original name, the more it takes you to its origin, which is the continent they now call Africa. He is an African person, if you want to put it like that. He's from the tribe, or he's from the nation of Yisrael, from the tribe of Judah, a descendant from Eber, who became a what we come to know now as Hebrews. And so, uh, this whole lie that names don't matter. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't matter to the person, uh, uh, to you who had your name changed. They, they told you that lie. But the ones that changed it, they know it means almost everything. And if they didn't know that, they wouldn't have changed it. Uh, this is on my mind. Shalom.